What's going on everybody? It's your boy C4 today. Continue with the Madden 17 roster reveal series where we're going to accomplish one of two things. One, either you're going to get a quick look at the Madden 17 rosters, what they're probably going to look like. Or two, you don't want to get Madden 17, you're going to want to stay on Madden 16 and you can download these community rosters and keep playing like another game doesn't exist. So at the end of this series, I will release these rosters, but until then, let me know in the comment section below if any tweaks that may need to be made. Smash 40 likes on this video for the next one to be uploaded immediately, and subscribe to the channel. Welcome for 15,000 subs by the time Madden 17 comes out. Without further ado, today we are looking at the Indianapolis Colts and jumping to the quarterback position where we gave Andrew Luck an 89 overall. Had trouble staying healthy last year. I mean, last year was, you know, the Colts were the favorite team in the AFC. Lock 2-5 and five as a starter, 1,800 yards, 15 touchdowns, 12 picks. Turned the ball over a lot. Didn't get any help from his offensive line. So, But I still have to give him 89 because you know, this is a contract year. I think he's going to ball out. I think they did you know, applicable moves in the draft and free agency to help him stay upright. So we're going to have to give him an 89. Not uh, good enough to give him a 90 because he definitely regressed and looked bad. Sometimes he just straight up looked bad last year. So an 89 for Mr. Andrew Luck. Uh, look at the running back position. Frank Gore, we gave him an 85. Uh, still had, you know, still has some tread on the tires. 967 rushing yards, six rushing touchdowns to go along with 267 receiving yards and one receiving touchdown. So over a thousand total yards for the old man Frank Gore, who's still going along. But I wouldn't be surprised to see Josh Robinson eat into some of those carries this coming year. The talented running back out of Mississippi State. Uh, fullback don't have one. Wide receiver T.Y. Hilton, we gave him a 92 overall. Uh, last year, T.Y. Hilton in 15 starts, 69 receptions, 1,100 yards, and 5 touchdowns. Obviously a, bit, a little bit of a victim of his quarterback play, but still is one of the best deep threats in the NFL. We gave Moncrief an 80. Philip Dorsett, still one of the most head-scratching pit picks I remember in recent memory, a 74. Uh, the tight end position, uh, what's his name? Uh, one of those guys... Kobe Fleener has moved on to the New Orleans Saints, but I did choose to pick Dwayne Allen, who we gave an 82 overall last year in 12 starts. Dwayne Allen had only 16 receptions, 109 yards, and one touchdown. I believe he was hurt while Andrew Luck was healthy, so I mean, obviously, a little bit of a, a product, much like T.Y. Hilton, of a pretty suspect quarterback play. So, uh, but 82 is not bad at all, let's be honest. Jumping to the offensive line at left tackle, we have Anthony Costanzo in 81. Left guard Jack Muhort in 87. At center, Ryan Kelly, the first round pick, a 77. One of the better grades for first round prospects in my rosters. Uh, right guard Hugh Thornton, 75. And at right tackle, Joe Reitz, 84. So, I mean, in Madden ratings, that offensive line is pretty solid, if I have to say so myself. Jumping to the defensive side of the ball, left defensive end Kendall Langford. We gave him an 86 overall uh, last year. Kendall Langford, what did you do for me? 16 starts, 7 sacks, and almost 40 total tackles. So, I mean, very good uh, playmaking ability and statistical numbers for the big man here. Former Los Angeles St. Louis Reign. Uh, look at the right defensive end. Henry Anderson, a 78 overall, was maybe their best draft pick last year. At, he played a little bit of defensive end, a little bit of defensive tackle. Uh, nine total starts, one sack, tw uh, almost 30 total tackles. But I think, you know, lots and lots of upside for Henry Anderson. He was a great, very solid pickup for them. Uh, look at the defensive tackle. We give Arthur Jones a 78. Uh, the brother of John's Bones Jones, UFC lightweight, light heavy, lightweight, light heavyweight uh, champion. Uh, but what did you do for me last year? Was he hurt? As you heard, I'm not really seeing his stats here, but we'll give him a we gave him a 78. Zach Kerr, 75. Joe Villano, 73. David Perry, 72. David Perry, another guy, pretty underrated. He, I could definitely see him uh, being the starter there. Actually, you think he was last year? Actually, the starter at nose tackle. Statistically, it wasn't amazing, but uh, well, actually, we'll bump that up. Bump that up because I remember watching him play a couple games. See, you know, you miss some every now and then. You might miss a guy or two in these rosters. Give Dave Perry. He started like 16 games, so we'll give him the 78, 75. Like 75 is fair enough. We'll give him the 75. We'll give him the. You started a bunch of games, so we'll up your awareness. Yeah. So he, like I said, wouldn't be surprised to see him end up being their starting nose tackle. Uh, left side linebacker Eric Walden, who we gave an 80 overall last year. 15 starts, three sacks, and almost. Uh, 50 total tackles. Middle linebacker Dequell Jackson, 87. I mean, this has been a year this guy has not produced. 16 starts, one interception, nine pass deflections, one forced fumble, three sacks, and gee, oh my god, 130 tackles or something like that. He's going to need to have a nice year because Jarrell Freeman has moved on to the Chicago Bears, but I think he still will produce. They got Sile Moore, the former Oakland Raiders, 75 as well. Uh, the right side linebacker, the Ageless Wonders they got here. Robert Mathis, 84. Trent Cole, 83. 
Uh, last year, these guys combined had 10 sacks. Still showing that old guys can get it done. Uh, look at, set, at the cornerback position. Vontae Davis, we gave him a 90 overall in 16 starts last year. Four interceptions, 16 pass deflections, and almost 50 total tackles. So a big year for him. Maybe could be a couple points higher. Let me know if I should adjust that. But I think a 90 is fair. Uh, Patrick Robinson, I believe he came from the San Diego Chargers, but he has an 81 overall. And Darius Butler, a 74. Look at the safety. We gave TJ Green their second round pick out of Clemson a 71. He is a chance to start. He might, he probably shouldn't start, but I think they might be hurting a little bit at the safety position. They might let him start. So we gave him a 71. And at strong safety, another one of the ageless wonders in the NFL, Mike Adams at 34 years old, giving him an 86. 13 starts last year, five interceptions, six pass deflections, three forced fumbles, one sack, and 50, 60, 70, 75 total tackles. I mean, this guy is still producing uh, at a very high level. And he's exciting. So he makes a lot of highlight real plays and a lot, a lot, a lot of turnovers. Uh, kicker Adam Vinatieri again at the you know the fountain of youth they have there at Indianapolis, a 90 overall. And Pat McAfee regarded as the best punter in the game with a 96. So there you guys. Those are the Indianapolis Colts projected Madden 17 rings. As always, if you like the video, smash that like button. 40 likes for the next video to be uploaded immediately. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Look for 15,000 subs by the time Madden 17 comes out. But that will do it for me here today, guys. Thank you for watching. And until next time, it's your boy C4 saying peace out.